And new tonight at 5, it's being billed as the biggest effort to revitalize, reinvest, and rebuild West Louisville. And it's putting stakeholders in control of millions of dollars that will stay in the community. State lawmakers announced the plan today that is being considered a big step towards taking on financial injustices. Political editor Chris Williams covered the big announcement. There's a sense of guarded optimism tonight that after nine months of private meetings, leaders may have answers to issues that have plagued this community for generations. So if we do this right, we will all be able to look in the mirror and say, on this day, at this time, we rose to the occasion that called for true collaborative leadership. One West is one of the biggest players in the West End Opportunity Bill. It would create what's called a TIF, Taxable Increment Financing District, encircling the nine neighborhoods of the West End. Over 30 years, 80% of taxes collected in that district would stay in the district. A board made up of stakeholders, including residents, organizations, Simmons College, UofL, and others, would decide how to reinvest that money in the community. The Opportunity Board will be led by an African-American majority. Individual representatives from key West End stakeholder organizations will lead and leverage financial investment opportunities. The effort, they say, will focus on preventing gentrification, partly my freezing property taxes for those already living here in January this year for the length of the plan. Senate President Robert Stivers and Senator Gerald Neal had conducted private meetings with groups for nine months before announcing this plan. And with this, we hope today it'll start that process of healing, repairing, and building a better Louisville and a better Kentucky. While much is still to be dissected in the plan, a number of key players are optimistic by what they know so far. And I think this would make a tremendous difference because the, the key issue is the total maldistribution of wealth. And anything that's going to help put wealth and resources into the pockets of people who have historically been excluded is always a good thing. Lawmakers have about 15 legislative days to get hearings out of the way and pass the House and Senate. President Stivers is confident there's enough time to get this through the General Assembly. In the Russell neighborhood, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.